Happy Wednesday, everybody. I'm KHOU 11 meteorologist Pat Cavlin here with your 8 p.m. tropical update. We do these every night here during the peak of hurricane season just to keep you in the loop with what's going on. Uh, and let's just get right to it. We've got three areas that we're keeping our eye on right now. As of today, we now have Tropical Storm Gabrielle in the middle of the Atlantic and then behind it, you know, yesterday when we talked, we had Gabrielle was still just a tropical wave that we were watching and then we had another wave behind it. Now we've got Gabrielle and two waves behind it, but neither of which looking very impressive. In fact, one of them only has a 10% chance of developing over the next seven days. That dropped down from 20% earlier today. And then the other wave, the new one, I believe, now up to a 20% chance, holding steady at a 20% chance for development. So not a lot going on right now. Let's just focus on Gabrielle first. As of the 4 p.m. advisory, wind sustained at 50 miles per hour. I gotta tell you, this thing does not look very impressive on satellite. It's got a lot of obstacles and a lot of hurdles to clear if it's going to hold together. But right now, the current forecast keeps this steady as a 50 mile per hour tropical storm over the next two or three days. Then as we get into the weekend, again, if Gabrielle can hold together, it will get into a more favorable environment for development. And as it passes by Bermuda, which is this spot on the map right here, uh, on Monday, it's expected right now to be a Category 1 hurricane. And then from there, it will curve out towards the north and east away from the United States and away from land. So right now, this looks to be an issue mainly for Bermuda as we get into the start of next week. Stays well north of the islands here and again stays away from the east coast of the U.S. Then we're watching the two other waves behind it. Neither of these look impressive as well. The environment across the tropical Atlantic this summer has been very hostile for any type of um, tropical systems, and that's why we really haven't seen a lot happening in the last few weeks. Right now, these two waves that are out here are going to have to deal with high concentrations of Saharan dust. You can see that here towards the middle and the top of the screen, that brown color indicates that dust that's present. Watch what happens as we animate this over the next few days. Those waves will actually pull away from that dust, and so they will get into a more favorable environment for potential development by next week, so seven days down the road. But even here, the models don't really do anything significant with them. So the waves will both struggle to develop again as they move through the hostile tropical Atlantic. They got to get out of the dust first. Then they're going to have to deal with a lot of wind shear. But the pieces of energy that represent those waves will still be there. So as we get into next week, if those energy, if there's that, you know, batch of energy is still kind of hanging on, We'll have to keep a close eye on it because if they can find a window where conditions are a little more favorable, obviously the time to prepare will be cut down with how close these waves are to the U.S. But right now, we're not expecting anything significant to come out of these if they can survive their track across the Atlantic. That's what we've got for you. Again, today is September 17th, so we are still in that peak realm of a tropical of a hurricane season here. The official peak was seven days ago, but really things are typically active between now and mid October. Not this year so far. Things have stayed pretty quiet. Hopefully they stay that way. We'll keep an eye on Gabrielle over the next few days as it moves out over open water. We'll also watch those two waves out there and I'll have another update on the tropics and on your forecast here at home in Southeast Texas coming up on the KHOU 11 news at 10 o'clock. Hope to see you then.